Piastri's decision to switch McLaren, good or bad? Oscar Piastri, one of the promising young talents in the current Formula One grid who is considered as a future world champion with what he has already achieved in F2 and F3, experienced a brutal start to his F1 career with McLaren. By switching to papaya racing colors in a much more controversial way for the 2023 season, he hoped to achieve something greater in his rookie season as other great drivers did in past. But McLaren is on a way of huge decline, despite they were improving over the last three seasons. Its MCL 60 is not performing well as expected, and both the McLaren drivers couldn't break up to the top 10 in the first two rounds of the 2023 season till the race in Australia which was full of collisions, safety car sessions, and red flags. Even though Piastri was able to cross the finishing line as 8th with the help of incidents that happened throughout the race, still it is difficult to keep faith in the current performance of the MCL 60. Rejecting the Alpine contract, did Piastri make a mistake last year? We are going to answer this question through this video. Before we proceed, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon for more exciting updates. Oscar Piastri was able to win both F2 and F3 champions in back-to-back -back years, and it is a rare achievement for any kind of junior driver in the Formula Series. Since 2020, Renault act as his sponsor, signing him to the Renault Sports Academy. Even though he expected to spend few seasons in F2, Piastri was able to win the championship in his debut season in F2, and according to the regulations, he was not allowed to compete in the same category again. Any of the Alpine seat was not vacant for the 2022 season, as Ocon and Alonso were already in contracts. He didn't want to betray Renault, which sponsored him in his junior days, and decided to stay with Alpine team as their reserve driver in the last season. Unfortunately, Alpine had no intention to promote Piastri to F1, even in the 2023 season as they want to continue with the Ocon Alonso lineup. So Piastri lost his faith in Alpine management and looked for other options in F1. Even the experts also described that, keeping Piastri as a reserve driver is totally a waste of great young talent. Everything turned upside down when Alonso decided to join Aston Martin as the replacement of Vettel. Alpine directly went for the best option they had to replace Alonso and announced their willingness to promote Piastri to F1. But Piastri was already in a secret arrangement with McLaren, who were searching for a better option to replace Ricardo, who was in a very bad form over two seasons. Alpine tried its best to keep their young driver within the team, but he had no intention to take the permanent driving duties with the Enstone-based team. He made his move to McLaren, partnering with Lando Norris for the 2023 season. Alpine is the rebranded factory team of Renault factory team, and it is the only team run with Renault power units in the current grid. A Renault-powered team last won a championship when Red Bull clinched the championship in 2013. Since then, Renault is yet to feel the taste of a championship as Renault power units failed throughout the turbo-hybrid era of F1 without any considerable performance. That may be the main reason why Piastri decided to switch to McLaren, as he saw some kind of possibility for a championship with it. Last season, McLaren and Alpine had a very close battle throughout the season, and Piastri didn't see any disadvantage of his move. Unfortunately, McLaren didn't live up to the expectations and demonstrated a huge decline in terms of performance. At least, Piastri wasn't able to finish his first race of F1 career in Bahrain with an electric fault in MCL 60. During the races in Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, and Australia, McLaren was among the three slowest teams in the current championship. They rarely break to Q3 in qualifying, clearly showing the pace deficit relative to rival midfield teams. However, Alpine are in a fine form currently, appearing as the fourth fastest challenger in the current grid. A 523's pace is sufficient enough to give a better fight to teams like Ferrari and Mercedes, both the Alpine drivers, Ocon and Gasly, are well experienced, but everyone knows that they are not with X-Factor possessed by drivers like Verstappen, Hamilton or Alonso to win a championship. If a talented driver like Piastri is in Alpine, he will surely yield more fine results from a 523 than the current Alpine duo. When Piastri was questioned by the media whether he is disappointed with the decision to switch McLaren, Piastri said he has no regrets about that decision. I think for me, it was never really a decision of the two teams, Piastri told media. It never really came down to that. The rest of the details are all obviously very out there and have been on rinse and repeat a lot. 
For me, it was clear that I wanted to go to McLaren, with the amount of passion that they showed to having me in the team, which was a massive, massive factor in that, so I don't really view it in that same light. But obviously I'm very focused on where I am now and trying to help the team move forward and get back to where they want to be, he added further. Piastri finished the race in Jeddah as 15th in the final standings, and thanks to the number of collisions in Australia, Piastri was able to record his first point finish in his brief F1 career. But it is impossible to think that they will repeat the same success at Azerbaijan unless they come with a better upgrade package to MCL 60. Its underperformance is surely with the aerodynamic department of the car as Aston Martin and Mercedes are performing at the top level with similar kind of power unit. McLaren's management invested heavily to improve the performance of the team. So the engineering team in Woking should do something to improve the performance of the team. If McLaren continues their poor form throughout the season, Piastri can surely switch to a better option in future as any team is ready to hire a unique talent like Piastri. What do you think about Piastri's decision to switch to Alpine? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe the channel to get more exciting Formula One news. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.